Kelly Maris. This is Kelly Mara here. Welcome back to my channel. Or if you're new to the pond, go ahead and take a dive. You might like it here. I've got a fun little idea I wanted to do that hopefully you guys will enjoy. As you might have seen from the title, today I will be turning some of my YouTuber friends into cookie run style gingerbread men. Of course, I didn't want to get left out either, so... Ah, there we go. It's been a while since I've done an art-based video, so on top of turning my friends into delicious cookies, I will also be doing a breakdown of the character design of Cookie Run, so that you guys watching will be able to create your own cookie sonas and OCs, because I love the game a lot and its visuals are so underrated. In case you haven't seen it yet because YouTube is mad at me for not posting in a while, I made an hour-long deep dive into Cookie Run to prove that I'm not a fake fan, obviously. Um, and I highly recommend you guys check it out if you're new to the Cookie Run fandom or just Cookie Run as a game in general, but none of it is necessary for this video. So to start things off, I thought it would be a good idea to break down the basic components of a cookie design. The most important thing to remember is that most cookies are cut from the same gingerbread man cookie cutter base, which looks like this, roughly. The cookies get their individuality through their icing and decoration, and some cookies even have different color cookie bases depending on their flavor. However, I think this art style is extremely accessible for beginner level artists and children for whom this game is technically intended for because it is essentially a single step up from your classic stick man. Easy. There are exceptions to this, of course. For example, Muscle and Purple Yam, who are much bigger and more muscular than the average cookies, as well as Avocado, who has a bit more dough on her bones, shall we say. There are also Kid Cookies, who are smaller and therefore have a more condensed shape. But for now, let's focus on the basic shape, the easiest way you can actually figure out what a cookie looks like underneath all their decoration is to look at cookies like Ginger Brave or Ninja Cookie who are pretty unmodified. As you can see, they have a very big head most of the time and just a simple Adventure Time-esque body that doesn't really require you to give the cookies a neck or shoulders. It's mostly just a torso and arms protruding out of the sides of it with a pair of legs underneath. And with the base covered, we can move on to other key details. Like any gingerbread man, they are first and foremost decorated by thin lines of piped icing for the eyes, mouth, hair, buttons, and clothes. You see this idea more prominently featured on common rank cookies like Ginger Brave, but other cookies, especially the newer ones, wear actual clothes and have more realistic hair made from different types of icing, cream, or even glaze. However, the common thread these cookies have to unify their design is their white icing eye outlines and the simple mouth line. Some cookies may have eyebrows or more detailed irises, for example espresso, but most of them will have white frosting for their eyes. When coming up with a cookie concept, there are two things you need to decide on. A profession and a dessert. Obviously, all the cookies in Cookie Run have different flavors, but if you notice, their flavors are actually secondary to their profession. For instance, Parfait Cookie is a pop star, so her powers revolve around her being a pop star, and her Parfait concept is then applied as the aesthetic. Another example is Avocado Cookie, who is a blacksmith, and as a blacksmith, her equipment and moves are all avocado themed. So my tip is to decide on a profession first and then the dessert later. It doesn't have to be cookie flavors either because Cookie Run gives you a lot of creative freedom. I mean, we have a cotton cookie. I don't imagine a cotton flavored cookie ever tasting good, but she is adorable, so I will accept it. 
Another important key of cookie design is that the cookies need to be holding something. This can be a cane, a staff, a weapon, a tool, instrument, or even just like magic in the case of espresso cookie. The most important thing is they need to have something in their hand or coming out of their hand. Cookie Run Kingdom also introduced two types of character depictions. A full illustration, which includes a more dynamic pose and full shading, and a standing illustration, which is how the cookie sprites look in-game with little to no shading. Because I'm drawing a lot of these babies today, I will be sticking with a standing illustration for each of the cookie designs. Also, as I don't want to change my friend's avatars too much to a point that they're unrecognizable, I won't have that freedom of professions or colors, but that's okay because I still had fun coming up with ideas within that scope. But to give you guys an example for making a full cookie run OC, I'm showing a full integration of my avatar into cookie run. The profession I decided on was a nurse, and the theme is bubblegum, specifically bubblegum tape, because it matches my color palette and it's kind of a cute idea to have it look like gauze, I guess, or bandages to treat injuries. But with that, let's move on to my victims! Before I started the cookification process, I actually asked my friends what flavor they would be if they were cookies, and I listened to none of them and did my own thing. So hopefully they're not too mad at me. The first person I decided to draw is my good friend Mally Malware. She also does art commentary and covers drama that transpires within the YouTube art community, but she also makes gorgeous animations that I highly recommend you guys check out. So her avatar has a very fluffy jacket and also very fluffy hair, and I knew right away that I wanted to feature all that fluff in my design. I immediately pictured her holding up two of her fluffs in her hands, like little bombs that she can throw at enemies, so that was exactly what I did. In hindsight, I think that I could make the cookies look even more convincing if I opted for a thick, consistent outline and minimized detail lines on the hair and clothes. Basically keep things blocked out and simple. I actually implemented this in my bubble tape cookie design as you might have seen before and it did really help the drawing look more authentic to the original art style and that's because I actually made that illustration way after I've made all of these designs. If this video does well, I'll definitely give it another try with some more of my YouTube friends so let me know in the comments if you guys would be interested in that. I mostly stuck to the avatar's original colors and just eye dropped them onto the drawing. However, the most important part of the illustration is the line color itself. It really helps blend things together and make the whole thing look polished. Use a darker shade on the lines around lighter colors, in this case the hair, and use lighter shades on lines around darker colors. Uh, in other words, the pants. And as you can probably see, Mally's avatar has relatively fair skin, and because of that, I noticed the white outline of the eyes really blended into her skin. It's kind of hard to distinguish. And strictly from a design perspective, I realized that this is probably why the cookie's base color is often a darker shade too, because otherwise it would drown out their eyes and facial features. And after putting in the lights, I'm just doing a bit of shading to help give a bit more dynamic coloration to the cookie, because even though it's a standing illustration and technically the colors are supposed to be flat, you might notice some cookie designs actually have gradients and I think that's a really cool effect that I wanted to do for my design as well just to help uh, this particular cookie stand out a bit more. In the end, I 
opted to go a bit darker to help the outline pop a bit more and match the color more to the hair than the original avatar skin color, which I think really tied it all together. Mally's cookie design just screamed fairy floss to me, so that was exactly what I decided to call her. If she were in Cookie Run Kingdom, I think she would definitely be a bomber class that is able to immobilize opponents with her fairy floss nets. Let me know what you think. The next person I decided to draw is Streamline Workshop. She is also an art commentary channel who talks about fandom specific things like Undertale, art tips, and wouldn't you know it, she also live streams. She is also a fellow Cookie Run player, so I was really determined to do her some justice. Stream was really fun to do because her color palette is completely different from mine and Mally's, and it just screamed blueberry to me. I think it was the blue hair and purple shorts. I didn't just want to make her a blueberry cookie though, because there's already like two in the Cookie Run franchise. So because Stream has a flower in her hair, I thought, hey, why not make her a blueberry flower? So I looked up what blueberry flowers looked like and it is the cutest thing I've ever seen. And I decided, yes, she will be blueberry blossom cookie. This actually worked out really well because I could use the green from her shirt as leaves for her flower and I replaced some of the ribbons and ornaments with the blueberry flower as well. I also tried to make her shorts look more like blueberries while I was lining it out and when coloring her in, I tried to make her hair look glossy, like it's a glaze instead of a cream and I was pretty happy with how it turned out. I learned from the previous design and made the base color a bit darker to help the eye outlines pop and I tried my best to follow the avatar's original eye shape to give it some more authenticity. item, I decided to go metaphysical for stream because her color scheme really makes me think of wintertime. So I pictured she would be a magic user that creates frost flowers to heal her allies. So she would definitely be a healer. Let me know what you guys think. Next we have the lovely Fiona Polo who is criminally underrated and deserves way more subscribers than she currently has. She does a lot of art tips, story time, and art commentary and I highly recommend you guys check her out. I actually ended up listening to her suggestion because it matched her color palette perfectly. So right off the bat, I knew she was going to be mint cream cookie and I wanted her to have mint frosting for her hair and skirt. I also wanted to be careful not to make her look too similar to Mint Choco Cookie, so to best emulate her avatar, I decided from the beginning I would go with full green hair. But because I have a disadvantage on colors, I tried to make the design a bit more interesting by leaning into the cream and frosting idea as much as I could. You can 
achieve a lot of different shapes and textures of frosting depending on the tip you use to pipe the frosting through. So for her hair, I try to shape each section like swirls piped with a large round tip and for her skirt, I wanted to make it look like it was made with a flat tip and I don't know if I succeeded in really conveying that but I definitely tried my best. I wasn't really sure what item she should be holding, but her little beret and the all-black ensemble made me think of the Disney artsy character stereotype, so I thought I would give her a human-sized paintbrush and make her an artist. I also decided last minute that I wanted to give her a little mint leaf on her beret, and I just thought that was a nice little touch. Cookie Run Kingdom, I think she would be a charge cookie who uses her paintbrush to deal area damage, which also slows opponent attack speed because they're covered in paint. And this is the final result. Let me know what you guys think. I ended up shifting the color of her base a bit more to match her hair just to give her a bit more of a minty green look and make the whole color scheme more coherent and I just didn't want them to have the regular base colors either to make them look unique from each other. Finally we have Cringy. Cringy or Charlie does lots of different genres on her channel, starting from drama commentary, deep dives, fandom discussions, to true crime videos. If you're into all of those things, I highly recommend you guys check her out. I definitely struggled the most with this cookie design because I really wasn't sure what sort of theme I could give her based on her color scheme, so I just figured I'd start with the pose first. Charlie said that if she was a cookie, she would be dark chocolate, and after going through her content, I definitely see where she was coming from. Thus, I opted to make her look serious, mysterious, and refined, like a dark librarian or a keeper of a secret archive. After drawing Fiona Polo's cookie, I wanted the characters to have a stronger art theme to them, so I decided that they should carry some sort of art equipment, and for Charlie, I figured maybe a fountain pen to match the dark academia vibes I'm getting from this cookie. That was when I started thinking maybe she could be fountain pen ink, because it would work well with her color scheme. So when I got onto her clothes and hair, I wanted to make it look like flowing liquid, similar to Sea Fairy Cookie's concept. I added some droplets to make it look like the liquid is falling off of her, and I was happy with how the dress kind of looks like a fountain in itself. to give the visual effect of flowing liquid and as I did this I couldn't help but think back to Charlie saying that they would probably be dark chocolate flavor and that plus the fountain like visuals gave me the idea of making her a chocolate fountain cookie instead. 
I was really excited by this idea, so I decided to deviate from the original color scheme and color picked milk chocolate for her hair and dark chocolate for her dress and adjusted the colors for a little bit. of the color variants so here they are let me know which one you guys think is cooler in cookie run kingdom maybe she could be an archer class that fires ink or chocolate blots to opponents like a bazooka or something maybe one of them would be this character's costume let me know which you guys think is which These are the cookies we baked today! Thank you so much for watching all the way to the end. Let me know which one is your favorite and which YouTubers you want me to turn into cookies next. If you want to see more from me, then check out my social media, join my Discord server, and check out my comic because that will make me really happy. All the links are in the description, including my Ko-fi account if you want to donate a coffee my way. And I will see you guys in the next video. Goodbye!